All right, welcome back to COAF Field Team, our YouTube channel, City of Allen Fishing Field Team. And this round, we've got a uh, product review on the Cork Strike Indicator. It's a strike indicator that uh, we tend to use more often than not. Um, we've done other product reviews. Um, let's see, the last one was the Echo Ion Fly Reel. Uh, gave that the alrighty then. We'll explain more about the uh, rating system that uh, we use. But bottom line, let's talk about the Cork Strike Indicator. And in this little deal here, you'll see the package, Cork Strike Indicator, and it's this little guy right here. And what's cool about them is it's made out of actual cork, and they come painted where you got this little cool painted thing on there as well as uh, um, without the painting as well. And then you got this little rubber O-stop or O-ring piece right here. And what's nice about that is it doesn't slip. It does not slip and uh, cast easily. Oh, we'll tell you more about that later. Uh, but other things we have in here, we've got the uh, thingamabobber. We got another thingamabobber, and then we've got the uh, uh, a really nice um, strike indicator, the airlock, and that's a good one also. But um, we got some issues or things that we'll explain more with um, the other strike indicators that we use uh, or have used in the past. But right now, this is the one that we're currently using for most, uh, most part uh, every time we go out now. Uh, we do have these other ones in our fly vest just in case we lose this one because we were down to last one. But luckily we picked these up at Cabela's over here locally at the Allen, Texas Cabela's. Uh, our first time we had gotten these was Green uh, Outfitters down in Green, Texas, uh, over there by New Braunfels, the Guadalupe River. Uh, so bottom line, let's talk about the course strike indicator and um, tell you why we like the course strike indicator. Well, Ashley, let's tell you uh, about other strike indicators. Then we'll go back to the cork strike indicator. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's have some coffee real quick. Mm. Let's do a quick um, little plug of some merch. Put this little one cup of coffee and then let's go fishing coffee mug it's the only one of its kind cof field team and we use the logo that was up there on teespring uh i don't know if anyone wants it we've got it somewhere uh, posted <laughs> all right so that was our merch uh commercial break Woo <laughs> uh, okay so let's talk about other strike indicators uh okay so these are those yarn strike indicators got that rubber o-ring as well uh one thing that um, we tend to not uh, like about these, or actually why we don't use them as much anymore, is uh, they tend to sink on us. Um, you have to put some dry uh, fly floating on there, and um, usually then it'll be all right. But then uh, after a while, they end up uh, sinking on us or having some issues. Uh, they do make some that are made out of not yarn or not um, wool or whatnot. Uh, I think it's like some kind of kind of uh, foamy uh, closed cell foam thing. Uh, those are good too, but again, uh, tend not to use them as much. Not sure why. Anyways, the next one is this New Zealand strike indicator. Got really interested in that, and uh, we saw that uh, uh, they had to make Cabela's and ooh, a fair hefty price for one of those. Uh, tools and that uh, special lamb wool and whatnot and so uh, it uses this little rubber like tubing and it goes right on the leader and everything and uh, really cool and fancy um, but for the stocker trout that we use and the other fish that we use um, there's really um, I guess the sensitivity that you're looking for we're not looking for it so we tend not to uh, use this um, we haven't bought one of those we did uh, make one uh, took a needle, a uh, big needle, and we cut off the uh, eye of the needle, just made a little gap in there, and we had some rubber tubing that we used for some uh, tube flies, and uh, didn't have the special wool, but we just used some other kind of wool that we had um, for some other things. I think it was from a fly fishing patch vest that we had from way back, and um, put that together, and it, it works nice. Um, but <clears throat> more tools, more things, more things to lose. Uh, bottom line, we tend not to use that as well. 
And then this one, we hated not using these. Uh, bottom line, we really liked them. Uh, it's the frog hair. It's this little football shaped little uh, strike indicator. It, it's streamlined, cast well, really light, very sensitive. We got some really good um, um, strikes or hook sets with that um, that on our our uh, leader. Um, the only thing is, is you got to use these little tiny little rubber. I don't know what you call it, but you got to somehow get it through the your your leader through that little uh, rubber stop. And then you can put the little football thing in there, and then you can adjust it uh, and add add another one. But eventually, it ends up getting stuck, and you have to cut it off and start over again. Um, but really nice. It's, just, um, <clears throat> it's not very convenient when uh, you want to go and switch out uh, your leader. Um, and if you want to take the indicator off, you pretty much have to take the whole leader off and start over again and put another leader on because it's on there um, but they do cast well and they uh they are sensitive so we like them but we don't use them anymore all right and then these we use these as an emergency um, we had them in our vest we no longer have them in our vest but we use these as an emergency it's these little sticky things that you stick on to your um uh leader and Use it as a strike indicator, but eventually they come off. Um, you take it off; it's only good for that one time. You got to go and start over again. So uh, convenient, yes. You can take it off, put it on, uh, put another one on. You're good to go. But um, not really what we're looking for. And then we use this one. This one we had in our fest for years until it, it dried out on us. Uh, it was more like an emergency piece, uh, bio strike uh, indicator, or I don't know what you call it, floating bio strike. Anyways. You, you put it on your leader, you make a little ball with it, and uh, it works well, but eventually it does come off. It is sticky, and it'll um, dry up, or at least dry up enough to where it'll stay on the line, but eventually it does come off. And then you have to take it off, and then you can put another one and redo it. So not as convenient as just throwing one on, uh, an indicator on, and taking it off, and doing it over again and whatnot with some of these other indicators that we tend to use now. Uh, also, uh, when we use the BioStrike, uh, it tended to stay on better when you put it on one of your knots. So if you just conveniently had a uh, do-it-yourself leader that uh, we tend to tie, uh, one of the uh, knots where you're going from one section of the leader to a, a thinner section of that or diameter of the leader that you're making, you could put it on there as well. And it, and it works, um, but we tend not to use that as well either. So we moved on. To the thingamabobber. Oh, my God. Yeah, we thought we were in hog heaven here, except they kept slipping on us. And there's another version of it that has this little little plastic knobby thing that you put into the peg. And they don't really hold. They come off. Um, so we don't use that as much anymore. And then... We've got these guys. This is the uh, strike indicator. I think it was made by Ray Jeff Sports. Um, they're really good. Uh, yep, they're really good. Bottom line, yours truly seems to, um, one, user error. Uh, first time use it, didn't read the instructions. And there's a little groove in the screw area where you can put your line in and then you lock it down it's got an o-ring it holds it really nicely and there's another way you can do it where it's a 90 degree where you you put it the the little plastic uh i guess the uh, bolt like thing and you put your line through it and then you can screw it on there and bottom line it makes a little 90 degree uh piece for your strike indicator and leader setup and really nice the only problem is, is yours truly tends to lose some of these things. So I've got uh, a couple of them, lost them. Uh, I have one currently in the fly vest, but it's missing that little plastic screw thing. <clears throat> so I have a really cool looking strike indicator. Just wish I had that little screw thing. Um, nut. Yeah, plastic nut. That's what it is. Anyways, uh, really like it. Just, I'm staring at one right now that um, is missing the little screw thing. 
So it's probably better that wish I just lost the whole thing. Well, anyways. Those are the other strike indicators that we've used. And there's some other ones that we've used also uh, as well. Uh, but pretty much that's the concept. You have the ones that are made out of yarn or wool. It's got some rubber O-ring that uh, holds it in this case. You've got the uh, specialty one from New Zealand that's really good and sensitive and whatnot. And you can make adjustments. It has got special tools as well as special material that you need, the tubing and whatnot. Um, then you got this guy, another specialty strike indicator, um, more of a permanent um, strike indicator once you get it on your line. Uh, and then you got these um, less permanent ones that come off maybe too uh, easily. And then you got this uh, this cool one to have. It's more like an emergency purpose one for this one if you just have it in your vest. Um, like I uh, we were saying earlier, um, had this one in our 5S for several years and then finally dried out. I think it's because the top came loose or whatnot. It kind of pops open. <clears throat> And then uh, we do have these still in our fly, fly vest, just uh, as more of a backup in case we lose that uh, other one. But now that we've got more that we picked up from Cabela's uh, for that quick strike indicator, um, we tend not to use this one as much as well either. And then we have these. These are big. The, actually, the ones that we have are pretty big. And you can see in the video or at least the other um, video that we'll show here in a little bit what we mean. And then there's uh, the really nice one, the dry air locks or the airlock uh, strike indicators. Really nice. Just uh, make sure you don't lose little plastic screw nut thing. All righty. So let's uh, move on. Okay, so here's the cork strike indicator and why we like them. It does not slip. Casts easily. Have uh, It floats. Has different sizes. It's made out of cork and there's no extra tools or material. And we picked these up at Green Outfitters at first, but they are available at Cabela's and Bash Pro as well as on Amazon. So they're readily available. You can get them online. You can go to the store. And go run down the green and do some fishing over there in the Guadalupe and maybe pick up some of these as well. Uh, so we do like them. And just to say, uh, we have uh, tried them out in the past. This is us. Uh, we went ahead and picked up one. And you can see that uh, it's really easy. Doesn't affect the cast. So bottom line, we like this. The cork strike indicator. Why we like it. Does not slip. Cast easily. Floats, no extra floating, no extra material, uh, has different sizes. We tend to use the little half-inch one. It's made out of cork, so ooh, bio-friendly and whatnot. But, of course, that little rubber O-ring isn't too bio-friendly. But doesn't matter. doesn't slip, so you're not going to lose it. <clears throat> well, you will lose some, but uh, it's all or nothing in this case. So uh, when you break off your leader and whatnot and the uh, little cork strike indicator goes down river well, then you'll lose it. But then you're not stuck like that other uh, airlock one where I still have that airlock one without the uh, little plastic screw thing. So uh, let's talk about uh, our rating system, a simple rating system. We've got the alrighty then, the it'll do, and not going to do it. So alrighty then, we're going to buy it again. Definitely going to buy it again. It'll do in a bind. We'll go buy it uh, when in a bind. Okay. Uh, not going to do it, not going to buy it, even if the fish are biting. All right, so uh, what do we give this uh, cork strike indicator? We give it a all righty then. Woo! -hoo! We would buy it again. In fact, we have bought it again. Um, example of it'll do's. Um, well, actually, uh, the dry airlock. Right here, let's grab it right here. This is the dry air, or the airlock strike indicator. See? So that's that little plastic uh, nut thing that's missing. We like this one. We really like it, except for that plastic nut thing. So <clears throat> I have a really cool strike indicator, but it's missing the little plastic nut thing. So maybe they sell these with little extra plastic nut, or maybe I'll come up with something. I don't know. Anyways, uh, we give the cork strike indicator the alrighty then rating. We would buy it again. And just to show you some other stuff, this is that cork or the uh, thingamabobber in the larger size it's actually missing the little plastic little uh, extension piece it came out or the thing that you stick in there and this is a smaller size thingamabobber and we do keep these in our fly vest just as backup but bottom line this is what we're currently using for um, our fishing trips
all righty so uh do come back for more uh we've got uh some other product reviews that we'll be uh, doing i think the next one we'll do is the opst commando head we did uh, a previous video about uh, why we like one-handed spay casting that's on our youtube channel um maybe check that one out if you want to see more about that but um, bottom line we're probably going to do um uh, our next product view on that opst commando head uh, we've got the 200 grain as well as the 225 grain and i've used them for about a couple of seasons now and um been very happy with the uh with that setup getting some good casts with not having to do a lot of faults casting as well as uh, in clobbered areas we're still able to um, um, get some casts out there and not worry about uh, our back casts uh, getting fouled um, so do check back uh, subscribe on our youtube channel coaf field team uh, do some likes some comments definitely uh, appreciated and then uh, uh, do stay tuned we'll do some more near deer giveaways near dear giveaways right here and uh intent there is just to uh let other folks uh have the opportunity to uh see what one of these near deer um look like as well as be able to have the opportunity to try fishing some of them in your area and uh it costs you nothing other than you just need to be in the u.s or a u.s address and we'll send it to you if uh you win one of our random drawings and don't know when our next one is, but um, we'll, we'll definitely get the word out. So uh, do check back there as well. And uh, we do have a Facebook page as well. If you want to join us there, COAF Field Team, look it up in Facebook. We're there. Uh, and uh, we'll tend to um, post on YouTube as well as that Facebook channel. Uh, and then like we were saying, we did a uh, previous uh, product brew, the Echo Ion Fly Reel. You'll see that a lot in most of our videos now. Uh, we pretty much use that uh, fly reel exclusively. And bottom line, out of all this, uh, no endorsements, no, we don't get paid for doing these. So uh, it's just our opinion. And in this case, the opinion for the cork strike indicator is alrighty then. We'll definitely buy it again. All right, till next time, we'll catch you all later. And good luck and good fishing.